Hello and welcome. If you're new, hi, my name is Brittany. Welcome to my channel, welcome to this video. I haven't filmed a makeup video in a very long time. I wanna say it was definitely towards the end of last year, so it's been quite a minute and it's good to be back. It's good to be back. I got an Ulta order delivered and I figured why not sit down and kinda just chit chat get ready with me. I'm like two cups in of coffee, so if I'm like a little bit up there with my energy forgive me actually don't forgive me i'm just i'm high on caffeine <laughs> this is the look that i came up with i have a couple errands to run when my husband comes back from work and i figured why not sit down and show you what i do and this is what i did <laughs> i will say i am very crusty and dusty in this video I, it's very different to sit down and talk to a camera like in a professional setting versus just like a vlog or whatever. If you want to know what I got in my Ulta haul and my first impressions, then let's get on to the video. Alright, 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 okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my face. I'm not gonna do my eyes because I am doing a fresh look and normally when I do a fresh look, I don't do a heavy eye. So that is the reason why. I'm gonna start off by priming. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Pretty Primer. And I'm just gonna apply that on my T-zone where I have pores. And then to add some glow, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Primer Glow Oil. This is the Retro Paradise packaging, but you can definitely get this in regular packaging. I love this. It leaves your face very hydrated and just like a natural glow. And that's what I like during the summer and spring months. I don't like to look very matte during the hot weather because I feel like the more matte I look, the more crusty I look. And we don't need that. <laughs> I like to put some on my hand just a little bit on the tip and put that everywhere where i didn't put the pretty primer that was i'm gonna go in with my born to glow by nyx cosmetics the reason why i'm using this is because i did pick up the concealer and i don't want to put out there that this is going to be a bit too dark it's not really my shade <laughs> You know, since we move up here in Washington, we don't get a lot of sun. So I'm like extra, extra pale. And normally, even like not during the summer, this will still kind of like work for me, but we'll see how it will work today. And then for the sponge, I'll be using my Dose of Colors sponge. <laughs> I'm first gonna work this product with a brush. I just put a small dab. <laughs> oh no, please tell me I can work with this. Am I that pale? Holy cannoli. No, 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 I don't like it. I'm gonna on top. <sighs> la, 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 la. I'm gonna go in with my camel concealer. This is the camel CC, my camel concealer. I'm gonna go in with my LCC creamer. This is in the shade light to 40W. Sis, that was way too light. What was I thinking? I do not know. I thought that I could totally pull it off, but I can't. You know, I'm really hoping that during the summer, I can definitely work with my more tanner shades. So I really haven't been wearing makeup since we've been here because one, we really don't go anywhere. Like lately, everything that we've been doing has been like hiking, um, just trying different trails. We have a bunch of trails here. So I'm not gonna like go glam or put makeup on to work out. So I really haven't played with like makeup, makeup, makeup. And actually this was the first time I played with this here in Washington and girl, who was I thinking? I don't know who I was thinking, but I know like I'm super light and I don't, I don't like that. Not that I don't like that. I'm just not used to being super pale. Like in San Diego, it's sunny. Like even though we might have a week of rain or week of cloudy skies, like there's always room for sun to come out. But you know, <laughs> not here. I'm gonna go with my sponge and I'm just gonna go over my face with that to pick up any excess product and also so that the simply mark isn't there. And of course we have two little friends. Hi, we don't know her name. They just decided to come. Outflow is here, so hmm, fun. 
now i hope this works i'm gonna go in with the born to glow radiant concealer by actually this was kind of like a foul i don't know if i want to go in with this one or with the nars radiant concealer i got the nars in the shade ginger medium 2. i got a travel size one because i don't know if i'm gonna like it or not and i don't even know if this is my shade so uh yeah i don't know should i just do one and one heck why not i am gonna go somewhere but we can always make it work. So on this side, I'm going to be wearing the NARS Radiant Concealer. And then on the other one, I'm going to be wearing the next one. Ooh, that is such a perfect color. Yes. I do like their Natural Radiant con um, not Concealer Foundation. And I love that. That is so good. One of my trusty, dusty... Actually, no, she kind of still fits right now with my skin tone. So I'm not mad at that. Bro, what? She's creamy, but she's awesome. I like that. And then this, let's see. Ooh, see? She's dark. Ooh, she is dark. We're going to have to balance this out. Oh, no. Okay. Let's blend. My battery's about to die. Hold on. First impression, I love the NARS one. NARS one is so good. Now I know the hype behind it. The next one is also good. I thought it was going to be too dark. Why am I so low? Hold on. Is that better? I hope that is better. But anyways, um, what was I getting at? I thought this was going to be too dark, to be honest. I was kind of concern but she worked out i'm gonna go ahead and use the nars and kind of just finish up my t-zone and all of that jazz i like that not gonna lie i like that I'm gonna go in with my Fit Me Loose Powder by Maybelline. I love this, this is one of my go-to. And what I'm gonna do is just set my whole face. For a bronzer, I picked up a new bronzer. I don't know how I feel. My go-to bronzers, well, my go-to, like my ride and die, she's my sidekick, she's been with me through thick and thin, and that is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deepest. And my second one, my backup, you know, when Matt can't come through, my other girl can. And she is a physician butter bronzer in this shade. I believe it's deep or dark. It's like one of the newer dark shades that came out like, I don't know, two years ago. So those are my go-to. I love them. They're good. Nothing's wrong with them. But I did see that people were raving about the NYX bronzer. This is in the shade Deep Tan. So hopefully it fits. Hopefully I... I, I don't even know like again with my shade with my skin tone being so light like this is not ready this isn't yeah girl is not used to being so fair like I don't know so this is how she looks okay so I'm gonna go in with this hopefully it matches Ooh. I'm like tan. <laughs> I am so tan. Holy cannoli. I am so tan. Like, I mean, I wanted to tan back, right? First of all, I feel like my skills are like way off. A woman doesn't wear makeup for like two months and she all of a sudden forgets like what is what. I can definitely go down in shade. But again, I mean, I didn't think I was, <laughs> you guessed it, this light or this pale. Um, it's starting to look kind of gray and I'm thinking it's because I'm like going over it and over it and over it. I'm not mad at this. But oh my gosh, hold on. Oh. I'm not mad at this, don't get me wrong, but the color is it's just it's a little bit it's a little bit dark. What do you think? Do you think it's dark? Do you think I can pull it off? I'm definitely going to have to see this in natural light to get like my final thoughts, but we shall see. 
I'm gonna let that do its thing. For blush, I'm gonna go in with my Alamada Cosmetics Color It Trio. And I'm just gonna go in with a mixture of peach, beach, and fruta bomba. Now I am gonna bring it all the way up to the temples. I love bringing the blush all the way up to the temples because it kind of gives you like a whole sun-kissed vibe. And I just feel like it kind of ties things every things, everything together. It ties everything together and I, I really like that. When the nose situation is done baking, I'll go ahead and put some on my nose. I'm gonna go back with my sponge, whatever is left, and kind of just go over it just to mush everything together. You don't wanna go in with like foundation on your sponge and then on your face, like fresh foundation, cause don't forget you're gonna put a liquid on top of a powder and that never mesh together. You're gonna look very cakey, you're gonna look very cakey and we don't want that. So what we're doing now is whatever the sponge soaked and it's laying on top of the sponge, we're just like lightly applying that to the face to give it a, a flawless vibe, you know? So keep that in mind, that is all. I don't have a new highlighter or anything, but because we're kind of keeping this on the drugstore side for the most part, I am gonna go in with Milani. You can never go wrong with Milani. This is the Milani Stutter Lights Highlighting Palette in the shade Rose Gold. And I'm just gonna take a mixture of like these two. I'm very curious how our summer is here. I know a lot of people have been telling me like, we have the best summer, we have the best summer. You're saying we have the best summer to a girl who comes from California. So that's definitely something I'm looking forward to and just to see like, how tan can your girl really get? You know what I mean? Like, I love how my skin looks when it's tan. We're just gonna have to wait and see my friends. We're gonna have to wait and see. Did I go crazy? Yes, I did. I'm gonna dust the nose situation. Coffee break. I'm gonna spritz my face and I'm actually gonna spritz it with, heck why not. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Fix Plus and just spray that all over to mush everything together to not look so powdery and all that. Okay. Oh, my fan fell. Well, that is <laughs> Now, I'm excited for the brows. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the brows, why I picked this and whatnot. So, my brows are not the worst. My problem is that I have sparse area here and there. And normally what I do is just fill it in and then do like a, uh, I'm uh, <laughs> drawing a blink here. The brow gel and call it a day. But, there's a big but. Anastasia came out with the brows freeze and oh my goodness, I wanted that. Like I really wanted it, but it, <sighs> Anastasia has like awesome brow products, but like I think I just been into makeup for the past five years that I know that you could get dupes. So you don't have to buy the high end version of the product. You could definitely buy the drugstore one and look as fabulous or even more. Lately, drugstore has been killing it. The number one brand that I rave about is Elf, Elf has been killing it. Elf, it, <laughs> Elf girl, you, you've been doing it. When I saw the brows freeze, I was like, I want it. But I don't know about the kaching. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not sure about that. Revolution came out with their soap styler. Now, I'm not saying they're the same. One came in a like, pot, and this comes in like a, whatever, I'll show you. But I thought, okay, I'm not really into the feather. I, I, it's just something that I, I don't know. I tried like once or twice, twice being most recent and it didn't look bad, but it's like, it was just a really good makeup day. And I don't know. So this is the Soap Styler for Laminate Fluffy Natural Soap Brows. Interesting. I don't know. Ooh, look at that. I kind of want to look at a review to see how people are using it, but it's like, how hard could it be, right? I am going to use the little brush that comes in on one side and then a spoolie on the second or on the other side. Do I have to activate it? Like, how do you use this? I have to damp the applicator. 
Oh wait, the applicator. Well, I already found. This is the applicator. It smells good. It, it's essentially a soap. That's what I'm getting at. Okay. Hmm. We're gonna let that dry and then the other one with this one because why not? Just for kicks and giggles. I know I'm not gonna like this. I can't really tell you. Um, I did not like that applicator. I like this fully better. I should really get my brows done. Okay, so I'm a... Okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna let this one dry. So I'm just gonna go in with my handy dandy brow pencil. And I'm basically gonna follow the bottom of my brow and just follow the natural curve. And I'm gonna fill in the first area. My brows are large and in charge. Like they're like hairy. I really need to get, I need to get my life together. My question is, do we now add a gel on top? <laughs> I'm gonna say no, cause you know, it, like isn't a brow soap supposed to be like a brow gel, but like clear? I'm gonna skip on this. I kinda just hope for the best. For the brows, like I said, they're not the worst and not the best. I, I don't know how I feel about this. I would definitely give it another try. I forgot the brightener. I just like this right now. Okay, I am obviously can't do it, but I will use it in a different video. But I picked up the brightener. This is the e.l.f. I don't know, e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer in the shade Medium 32N. The only reason why I got this was because every makeup blog that I came across They've been duping it to the YSL or similar to the YSL. And I was like, I wanna try, I wanna try it. I heard nothing but good things about the YSL one. I do wanna try this, a lot of people liked it. And I'm actually gonna try this, like I said, in another video. I might do a IGTV for my Instagram. I kinda wanna get back to makeup. I feel like I've left the makeup world for quite some time. Half of these stuff are already quote unquote old, even though they came out like no more than six months ago. So definitely been paying catch up, not gonna lie, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna move on. <laughs> I do want like a very natural eye. So I'm gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics and Carly Bible palette. This came out about three or four years ago. I played with it here and there, but I still have it. And we're just gonna play with it because why not? This is not available anymore. So I'm gonna go in with a mixture of this one and that one and put it on the crease. With a flat brush, I'm gonna go into that cream color and I'm just gonna put that on the lid, like maybe three quarters in. Gonna go back to this one, to this color, and just put it in the outer corner. I forgot how powdery these red, these shadows are. But, oy, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I'm gonna pinch it and just go back to that first two colors that we went into and put it on the lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with ColourPop liner in Honey Nude. Before I go on with mascara, I'm gonna be trying a new setting spray. This is the LA Girl Setting Spray Fix and Set Makeup. This one got actually recommended by Juicy Jazz here on YouTube. And my go-to, like my go-to one is obviously the Urban, I would say Urban Outfitter, no. The Urban Decay All Nighter. I love that. That will stick with me through thick and thin. I used that when we went to Puerto Rico and Chicago during summer. And it was just like, honestly, truly, it was beauty. I loved it. The second one is the Make It Last by Maybelline. This is a repurchased one, so I'm not gonna use her. But she's also very good. She sets the makeup and make it stay. She says it lasts all day, every day. So we're gonna try it out. Okay, she's pretty fine, miss, and I did that all over my coffee. 
Ooh, coconut. Coconut? Coconut. Coconut? Coconut or flower? I don't know, but I love the smell. This is a good one. I've been using the Maybelline Sky Lash Mascara. This is really good. I love it. I love it. People are like 50-50 on it. This is really good as well. I don't know where she is, but also the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, the purple one. That one's good too. I highly recommend. All right, we're going to quickly click, click. I did pick up two lashes. I'm not going to wear lashes, just... I did pick up two lashes. Um, I'm not gonna put lashes on because when I do everyday makeup, I typically don't put lashes on. And if I do, I put something very natural like my Demi Westies. But ColourPop came out with new lashes, at least new to me. I didn't know they came out with new lashes. In the style Bear and in the style Chica. I will definitely use this when I use the brightening pen. Again, I wanna do it for like an IGTV on Instagram. So keep an eye out for that. I have a lot going on, but keep an eye out for that. For lips, I'm gonna outline my lip with the e.l.f. lip liner. This doesn't have a name. It is part of their Retro Paradise collection. And then for lip, I'm gonna go in with my Dose of Colors, Liquid Lipstick, and Let's Cuddle. I'll be back. I'm gonna get my life together, situate everything out, get my hair up, and then wrap up this video. And this is the final look. I like it. The only thing I'm kind of iffy about are the eyebrows and the bronzer. The eyebrows, when I'm looking at it, I like it. It's not bad. It's not horrible. Um, they do feel pretty, uh, pretty in place. So I guess that's a good thing. And the bronzer, I just feel like I went a bit too dark. But I could play around with it. Hopefully it works in the summer. I'm hoping that it does. As always, I'll go ahead and make sure to link everything down below as to what I use. Also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. Like I said, I'm trying to like get back into the whole beauty shebang. I know like with this whole move and everything, my whole schedule just went out the window. So I do want to come back very strong. I do want to do like IGTVs and all that. So if you're into that and you want to just continue to support me, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'll go ahead and leave my handle right here. Super easy. And yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Bye.